Welcome back to RimWorld, the SCP Adventures. We're picking up where we left off after the Empire turned up to give Smith his first royal title and psi power. And they brought along some unwelcome guests in the form of some fiberglass dinosaurs that ran amok. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, unfortunately, Avro took the brunt of it and lost her thumb, which sucks because she's our doctor. And Hoss had a mental break, which he is still trying to recover from. Last episode, we also picked up Shanus, our newest colonist. And she's a little bit more interesting than I first thought. She was a reclusive child, which gives her the, un, uh, the unlocks the meditation type of natural, which lets her meditate at the anima tree, which is great. It means we can meditate there to help anima grass grow, and we can get her some side powers as well. I think the objective for today will be to check out one of these abandoned labs that we found about found out about. Got ten days on that one. Should be enough time. But I think we're gonna need a day or two for our people to recover and get their wits back. Oh boy yes Shaynas has done a Shaynas has done an amazing job. She's tamed our first yak. She's bringing it back with her. That's gonna be essential. If we're going to go off and do uh, the genetics labs, I want to have plenty of carrying capacity so we can bring all the goodies back, all the loot, and that will help out a lot. I'd like to get more than one, but that's a really good start. Ooh, Hoss managed to make a poor quality small sculpture. Nice. Well, that'll still help out with uh, moods and things. Let's check out the art on that. Distant Shrub. This piece bears a representation of six barbarians roaring in victory. Smith wields a sledgehammer defensively while glowing grey. The work has an expressionistic feeling and a well-balanced structure. This depiction relates to a raid on Smith's encampment on the 13th of April, May. <laughs> okay. Well done, Hoss. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a concrete mixer. So... This is from the Fortifications mod, and it's a bit of a power hog from what I remember. And it's going to take a while to get the concrete and reinforced concrete that we want. So we might as well get started on that. Don't have an overabundance of steel, but I think that'll be a good thing to get in while we're redoing missions. The other two can at least make some progress. Alright, Smith has started to extract trees from this area. This is to facilitate a plan I have. So the plan being, I'm going to stick trees in the entrance to the kill box here to prevent people, enemies, hanging around and to slow them down getting right their way through. So this is a lot of effort for our grower here, Smith. Look at the bottom left there. Trees have a walk speed of, it says 87%, but it slows people down much, much more than that. So let's just get these replanted. Oh, good. Oh, it's got the concrete mixer ready. Have a look at the bills for this then. So we can make concrete blocks from chunks. We can make concrete blocks from stone bricks, which I don't know why we'd want to do that. We can pack concrete, make fibre cement, which is a different kind of uh, concrete if you like and we can prepare steel for concrete which is to say reinforced concrete which is really what we want but to do that you need concrete blocks and steel that'll have to wait so I think we're just going to make concrete blocks from chunks I'm not particularly precious about what chunks we make them from so let's just do it until we have at least 200 say ooh Hoss is getting some mining done nice going to try and square this off and in preparation for heading into the mountain. 
Also just get Hoss a little bit more mining experience because he's our best miner at level 4 which is really poor. Let's get another rice harvest in, excellent. Might have a little bit too much of that for the, for the time being. Yes! Okay, bro, we've got two yaks now. That's my minimum... I was going to say minimum amount for doing off in missions. And we have an in... Oh, God. So when Shaynis said she wanted to join a company or a colony, she did say that something was chasing her and didn't want to say what. Shaynis admitted what she was fleeing from. Uh, greedy for the pleasures of money insect jelly can bring, intent... Intended to destroy a massive insect hive using poison, she failed, but was doused in insect threat pheromones. Insects have been hunting her ever since, now they've launched their final attack. Giant insects are tunnelling towards you. They will break through in a few seconds and plant hives. The hives will spawn more insects and more hives. If you don't want the insects <laughs> to infest the whole area, destroy the hives, but beware, the bugs will defend their home. Oh, okay. Well, it's not in our base, thankfully. Okay, that's not a huge problem. If we deal with it right away. Mega Spider's reasonably dangerous, but... Yeah, we can deal with that. Okay, Smith, well done. You can see with Smith wandering through here. It's incredibly slow for anyone to pass through this. There are other ways to achieve this, but I think it's a particularly good way. Okay, Smith, a cotton harvest. Wicked. Looks like the ambrosia is ready as well. Tamed another yak, well done. Three, that's really good. Love to get these last two, but I won't be too picky. Okay, so we've got a male and two female yaks. That's good. We can also breed yaks now, provided we can keep them alive. And we get milk from yaks as well. Fantastic. Okay, I don't think we can put it off any longer. We need to take care of these insects. So Smith, you're going to have the important job. Everyone else I want ready to back you up. Good job. Run for your life. Are right, you too. Get down here. Brilliant. Look at that work, that's mega slow for them to get through that. Gives us plenty of chances to shoot them. Smith, hit that guy with a burden. Wicked job. Oh no. Yes. Wicked. All that stuff in. Stuff's valuable. Ooh. Let's get you guys over here in case Oss doesn't make it. You did? Good. Not a challenge. Yep, I think this setup is working pretty well. Oh boy. Attacking immediately. We have seven Outlanders attacking immediately. And they're pretty well armed. So we've got three Trank shotguns, two pistols. Ooh. How much time have I got? 
Not a lot. I was going to tell Horse and Sheenus to put the recon armor on anyway for their journey to the mission. But we'll also get Smith in the actual marine armor. And that's all we can do right now. Might as well get Avro in position. Oh no. Right, Smith, get down here. Going well. Come on, guys, you can't be that bad at shooting. Good job. Chemical interest, psychically deaf, tough. Ooh, not really what I'm after, but let's check the other one out. Chemical interest, neurotic, ascetic. Hmm, could be a good miner. Okay, let's capture both of them. Bit of experience for us, if nothing else. Ooh, death in one hour. Yeah, you're gonna die, aren't you? Do you have any gear that I want? Not really. Good medical XP if nothing else. Wow, good job Smith. It's nice to save that person's life. Well, I think we'll reduce the will on these prisoners. I'm not sure I'll keep either of them, but we may as well get the social experience and we might possibly enslave them. Some D-class personnel would be not bad to have for experimentation. So let's keep that option open. Okay, we've really got to be making tracks for this lab. So as soon as we're able, we're going to head off. I think in the morning, we'll head straight out. A bumble drone migration, okay. Giant bees, ooh, a queen. That was some really cool artwork there. Mutant wasp-like creature. Yeah, we'll stay the hell away from those. Wow, this came straight into my base, okay. Well, they're not hostile right now, so <laughs> let's just hope they're okay. How are you getting on at the anima tree? Two anima grass, nearly three. Well done, Shanus. Okay, before I forget, it's time to go. Hoss and Shanus. I want the two of you ready to go. So Sheenus, you're going to be our doctor on the road. We want to get you on the travel food restrictions, which basically just lets you eat anything. Let's sell this caravan. Take about a day to get there. Hoss and Sheenus. And our three yaks. Our team is away. Approaching the abandoned lab. Well, if nothing interesting happens, we'll cut straight there. And our caravan was ambushed. My god, they barely made it out the front door. And they've been ambushed. Scary infected <laughs> man hunting fission mouses. Okay. Come on, guys. And Sheenus, you got a couple of bruises. So let's get you on. That's fine, yeah. Colossal Aero Fleet. <laughs> More cool artwork. A huge floating gelatinous creature propelled by hydrogen. Produce a thick gelatinous substance known as blue gel. This syrupy residue can be collected and refined into energy dense compound. Potentially used to build powerful batteries and generators. Minimum handling skill of 8. 
That ain't happening for us for a long time. Here we go, Caravan has arrived at the abandoned lab. What the hell? We got five nightlings. These do not look friendly. Sleek predatory beast with throws of quills on its back. Great. Uh, this place looks really interesting. This is very interesting indeed. So we got a door down there. I'm a little bit worried about this place. So possibly if we find some goodies, we'll just get the hell out of here before anything too bad shows up. Helix. Okay. Good name for a genetics. I can hear doors opening. Yep, yep, here we go. A bear follow. We fought one of these before. Uh, yes! Okay, so we're finally ready to head in. And Sheenus is already near a mental break. God damn. Breach, breach, breach. Okay, what do we have here? Damn it, two of our yaks have got flu. Right, we'll have to come back for that. Ooh, Arco Wound. Yikes. Wolf, a legendary wolf bear. Wow, we didn't even take a hit on there. Good job, guys. Okay, I think it's safe to say that there's just stuff just gonna keep coming. So we need to be quick here. What the hell's that? Cat girl legendary. Yeah. Cool, check out that room. Ancient ruined gene pods. Oh no, I can hear more doors opening. Doesn't look like there's anything we want in there. Just a whole lot of ancient ruined stuff, I think. Getting a lot of bad luck here, I think. Okay, a DNA storage bank. Another piece of the Arco, yeah, Arco centipede. Oh, it's just yeah, again more wealth that we're not going to need for a long time. Oh, there's one thing there, an immuno booster. Genetics expanded, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely take that. I'll have to think about this Arco Centipede stuff. We do want it. It's whether we can uh, handle the extra wealth right now. Another DNA storage bank. Oh, a genome frame. Stable genetic material consumed by genomorphic machines that serves as a framework for hybrid experimentation. Cool, I want it, even though it's awful quality. It does look cool. Fantastic job they've done on this mod. Okay, just a lav. Yep. Ooh, an actual genome recombinator. Extraction module. Cool, we will take that. Oh boy. That is one hideous looking beast. Man chicken. <laughs> You know, you know how like chicken tastes like so good. So what if you like made chicken that you know you killed it? You could I don't know stuff it right in your mouth as fried chicken, dude. It's just the shit. Where do you get all this, man? Reporting playback uses and hearing against disgraced genetic scientists for misappropriating government funding. <laughs> A humanoid hybrid with recessive avian genes. A very valuable hybrid that convinces people that its greatest desire in life is to be eaten. When butchered, it leaves large amounts of 
completely healthy and nutritious meat that can be eaten as is. Oh my god. Kill it! Kill the beast! <laughs> At least that was easy. Oh, an electro womb. Is a large machine designed to simulate the environment of a mother's womb. Once a growth cell has been inserted, the embryo can start growing all the way to its adult life stage before being released. It provides more growing room for larger specimens. Nice. Super successful so far. Another DNA storage bank. This place is huge. Wow, look at this place. Genomes. Oh, what, there's a lot of cool stuff here. Yeah, we'll just grab a lot of that. What do we got? Yeah, I heard something. Well, a rabbit chicken, okay. Jesus. Okay, cat chicken. I think they're just popping out of the ground, these things. Okay, mechanite booster. One room left. Okay, let's see if this is the finale room. Nope. Okay, I think we're done. That was hugely successful. Now I suppose it's time to see what we can take back with us. So let's get a caravan looked at. So we want all of the genetic stuff. Let's just get that out of the way with straight away. Now one of the cool devices. So electro boom. Gene recombinator. Do I take the Arco Centipede stuff right now? That is a huge amount of wealth to bring back to the colony. Let's maybe take it. And if it's too much, we can deconstruct it and see if there's any good materials we can get with it. So let me take it for now. Is it worth taking any corpses? I think they're all rotten and worthless, so no, I don't think so. 1.2 days of food, 0.9 journey. Let's do it. Well, let's hope the crew make it back. And if nothing happens, just get right back there and start checking things out. Okay, our caravan is back. <laughs> They've immediately collapsed. Uh. Well, let's get back inside. Okay, so another quest came in. Journey to a desolate laboratory. All right. Again, so a day away. 23 days on this one. That's a lot more manageable than this one here. It's got two days left on it don't see us getting up to that one so yeah maybe the next target will be this one down here let's get a look at this loot dna storage banks a vital piece of the arco technology it's part of the process in creating an arco centipede uh, genome extraction tables function in this way stores live specimens for genetic material later use preventing deterioration Ooh. depending on the base of the genome for the amount of viable genetic material Okay, so the higher quality, I'm guessing, the more the higher percentage we will fill it. And we need to get each branch of genetics, like bear, cat. Yeah, that's really cool. I think we're probably gonna do that. But do we want to keep this amount of wealth on the base right now when we're nowhere near ready to begin this? I suppose we'll see in a day or something when the the new wealth of the colony is calculated. Well, that just happened there. 55,000 and climbing. Yikes. It's got me crapping myself already. We'll definitely keep like the genome recombinator. Don't have anywhere to put it. We really need to. Whoa, whoa. We've got genetic material just lying outside, spoiling. We need to reset our fridge freezer here for genomes. Okay, bunch of genomes. Higher level genomes. Okay, we need that stuff done urgent. Uh, let's see what others we had lying around. Uh, gear. Boomlip genome. 
more boom lip genome. The reptile genome. We need all of these hold in right now, so we're gonna need a bigger fridge or freezer. I'm gonna need to look up a lot, what a lot of this stuff does, I think, or read very carefully all of these where I can really know what we need, what we don't need. And for the moment, we're just gonna get it all unpacked, tucked away. The revered weighted wisdom. You've learned of a relic of the Foundation is nearby. The weighted wisdom in an ancient object venerated by all Foundationists. You could collect it. You could build a great reliquary to make Foundationists happy, attract wealthy pilgrims, and bring more people to the Foundation. First, you need to find the weighted wisdom. Watch for opportunities to gather information about it. Yes, we will. That's pretty successful. I say we've got a lot of loot to unpack. And things to get sorted away. We just need a we need a base expansion. I really want to get into the mountain. We just don't have a miner. I suppose we'll just have to set horse to it. But in the short term, I'll make a couple of small base expansions. That at least gets us some extra storage space. So we can bring in all this stuff and then we'll start mining. But I think that will be in the next episode. Thanks for watching, see you next time.